what is up everybody hope you're doing good um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset your next book flex 11 with Windows 10 I'm gonna be showing you how to completely reset it back to its factory condition um, I'm gonna show you two ways of doing it uh, the first way is uh, if you're able to log into your computer like this we can do it through the settings uh, and I'm also going to show you how to uh, also do the factory reset if you can't log into the computer. Uh, maybe because you have a password uh, or it has a virus and it's not booting up correctly. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the the other way of doing it so that you can also factory reset it and start using it again. Alright, so let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to do uh, the first method, which is if you can get, in, if you can get into it. All you're going to need to do is click on the search bar down here and you're going to type in reset. All right, once you type that in, it's going to give you an option up here that says Reset This PC. You're going to select that. All right, once you click on it, it's going to give you two more options. One is going to say Reset This PC. The other one is going to say Advanced Startup. Let me zoom in a little bit to see if it, uh, if it helps. All right, so now you can see it a lot clearer. All right, so you're going to select the option that says Reset This PC. Get started. All right, then it's going to give you two options, uh, keep my files or remove everything. So you're going to select remove everything. Uh, and then after you do that, you're going to have to just, uh, you know, sit back and wait until the process is completed. Uh, remember to plug it into the electricity uh, to make sure that the battery doesn't die while it's in the process. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to select here, remove everything and just follow uh, the prompts. So that's pretty much the first method of how to do it. Um, it's pretty much similar for all Windows 10 or most Windows 10 laptops. Um, now I'm going to show you the second method. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to shut the computer off so that I can show you that it has a password. So I'm just going to select um, restart normally. All right, so it turned on. Pop. All right, so it's asking for the password. So let's say I don't know the password. I'm just typing in whatever. Select next. It says the password is incorrect. Try again. Okay, so let's say uh, we just don't know the password. So here's what you're going to do. You're just going to go over here to the power button. You're going to hold the shift key. And while you're holding the shift key, hit the power button and select restart. Okay, and you're going to keep holding the shift key. With this finger, I'm holding the shift key. All right, so this menu is going to come up, and here we are going to just select Troubleshoot. Yeah, once that menu comes up, you can let go of the Shift key. All right, then it's going to give you these next two options, Reset This PC or Advanced Options. We're going to select Reset This PC, and then it's going to give you the option of uh, Keep My Files or Remove Everything. So since we want to completely erase everything on it, uh, we're going to be selecting the remove everything option. Also, uh, you know, if you can, remember to back up anything. Uh, you don't want to delete it on it, any pictures or documents, uh, because everything is going to be erased on the uh, laptop. Alright, so once you select that, the process is going to begin. Okay, so after a few moments, uh, it's going to bring you to these uh, next two options over here. Um, it's going to ask you to confirm again, uh, just remove my files or fully clean the drive. So, uh, you know, for the complete factory reset, this is the correct option, fully clean the drive. You're going to select that, and then it's going to ask you one more time to confirm. Are you ready to go? Make sure that your PC is plugged in. 
make sure that it's connected to the electricity so that the battery doesn't uh, die because this is going to take a little while. Alright, so now it's going to um, begin the process. Uh, it says resetting this PC 1%. Um, since this is going to take a little bit long, I'm just going to pause it here and I will continue recording when it gets closer to 100%. Yeah, so I started recording here at 62%. Um, I did notice that um, for most computers, because uh, I've done this uh, several times with Windows 10, um, they usually get stuck at 62% for a little while longer um, than, than the rest of the resetting process. So you're probably going to be stuck here for a little while at 62%, and that's completely normal. So I'm going to pause it, and I'll continue recording, uh, like I said, when it's closer to 100%. Okay, so... Uh, um, a couple hours later, um, after it completed the resetting process, um, uh, this message came up. It says a configuration change was requested to clear this computer. Trusted platform module. Clearing erases information shared on the... Yeah, know. So it's pretty much just asking you um, to confirm that you want to reset uh, this, uh, this module. Alright, so we're just going to select yes. Where you're gonna have to hit enter on the yes. All right, so uh, let's wait. Uh, see what happens. Okay, so now it's uh, installing Windows. It's at zero percent. Um, if uh, if this takes a little bit long, I'm gonna pause it again and continue to record when it's closer to a hundred. All right, so uh, after the installing Windows gets to a hundred percent, this screen is gonna pop right up right after. Um, so I guess uh, this is the, the initial setup now of the computer, so it's been completely reset because it's asking me to choose a language. Uh, let's choose English. Yep, and it's asking me to set up the keyboard and the time. Um, so yeah, this is the initial setup now of the computer. That means it's been completely uh, factory reset back to its uh, you know factory condition. Um, that's how you do it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.